Hi guys, I am Mohsin. In my recent videos, I have told you that how to calculate the Taguchi based signal to noise ratios for larger the better criteria using Minitab. In this video, I will tell you how to calculate Taguchi based signal to noise ratios using larger the better criteria in Microsoft Excel using formulas. So first of all, why we use uh, Taguchi or orthogonal arrays? Because they are fractional factorial designs. They will uh, tell us about the effects of the main, uh, main effects of a factor on a response variable using minimum or least number of experiments that will minimize over time, cost, resources, each and everything. Okay, second thing, what are the signal to noise ratios? Be, uh, these are the ratios that focuses on the uh, value, mean value of the response and it is inversely proportional to the variance. Means it focuses on the mean value and reduce the variability in the data. So this is the formula in case we are going to calculate the Taguchi based signal to nice ratio for larger the better criteria. First we will understand how to calculate it using the formula. So this is the formula. In this formula Y, I, J, these are the quality responses, means these are the values of tensile strength this, in this column. In case of impact, uh, in case of impact toughness, Y, I, J are the values of the impact toughness and in case of tensile strength, Y, I, J are the values of the tensile, values of the tensile strength. Okay, X i is equal to 1 up to uh, x and uh, on 1 1 divided by x so what is this x x is the number of replications means how many times the experiment have been replicated so what is replication means at the same experimental condition how many times we perform the experiment means for cell number one or experiment number one at current level 100 ampere root cap 2 mm uh, Electrodiode 2.6 mm, 75 mm. If we repeat this experiment three times, then we will have the value of the tensile strength at and three times. So the value of x become three. We will have to take summation of all the y ijs for the tensile strength. However, in this case, there is only one replication, so value of x become one. So first of all, what we will do, we will take the square of all the quality responses in for when we calculate the signal to noise ratio for tensile strength. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a scale of these values. So this cell multiply by itself. I have taken the scale. I will drag down this. So I have taken the scale of all these values up till 620. Then the same procedure will be followed for impact toughness. I will multiply these values. We will just only multiply the first column and we will drag down the first, uh, first the cell. So the scale for all the values have been taken. So in this way, I have taken the scale. This is the first step. So still now we have taken the scale of the y ij's. In the next step, we will divide all of the values by one. So this will become is equal to one divided by the scale of the value. I got this. We'll drag down this and similarly. The same procedure will be followed for impact toughness. One divided by this cell. I got this value. I will drag it down. So till now I have taken the, taken the scale and then divided by one. So the next step is we will multiply the values by uh, we will take log base to power 10 and then we will multiply it with minus 10. So this is the step how to calculate in the last, I will take the value that is obtained by dividing from uh, dividing by, uh, divided by one. I will take log of ten and I will multiply it by minus ten. So the remaining portion is minus ten 
multiply by log of base 10 of this number bracket close and I will drag it down so these are the signal to noise ratios for larger the better criteria for tensile strength same is the case I will write again the formula minus 10 bracket close multiply by log of base 10 of this number bracket close this is the signal to noise ratios for impact strength on the basis of larger the better criteria now as compared to the my previous videos in which i have calculated the taguchi based signal to noise ratio using mini tab i will compare these values with those so tensile strength first signal to noise ratio is i will get the heading signal to sn ratios so i will compare my first value 52.96 and the mini tab value is also 52.96 here you can see it here you can see it 52.96 same is the case this is the signal of the signal to noise ratios in the previous video which i have calculated for the impact strength and here the signal to noise ratio for the impact strength is 35.97 so i will tell you that in the uh, excel sheet same is so this is the value of the impact strength signal to noise ratio so as you have seen that both the calculation using mini tab or calculation using uh, min, uh, using excel, microsoft excel worksheet the results of both are same however mini tab consumes very less time as compared to excel worksheet however using uh, excel worksheet will let you know what is the science what is the what is the mathematics behind calculation of the signal to noise ratios in the upcoming videos i will calculate signal to noise ratio for smaller the better criteria using both mini tab and excel worksheet so if you have liked my video please click on the like button share it subscribe my channel also if you need any kind of help you can contact me on my email as well as on my fiverr channel thanks a lot for watching my video